Before we get started, I just want to give a huge shout out to Pwn Time. He is my first supporter on Patreon. You too can support me on Patreon for as little as $1. And that $1 will get you a shout out at the beginning of all my future videos, as well as early access to videos before they post on YouTube. And as well, you will gain access to my Discord server, which is exclusive to my Patreons. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add a double jump feature to your game. This will allow players to jump in mid-air, adding an extra level of fun and mechanics to your game. So let's dive right in. First thing we want to do is create a new script. We'll be adding this double jump script inside a local script because we'll need to detect player input locally. To do that, go to the starter player in the explorer and then the starter player scripts and click the plus icon and select local script. I'm going to rename this script to be double jump script. In this script, we need to set up some variables. So let's define the player, character, humanoid, and a couple other variables to handle the double jump. Next, we need to set up an event listener for when the player jumps. Luckily, Roblox provides a state changed event on the humanoid that we can use to detect when the character jumps. Here, we're checking if the player's state has changed to jumping. If they haven't already double jumped, we'll set can double jump to be true. We also handle the landing state to reset the double jump ability. Now, we need to listen for player input to detect when they press the jump key. For this, we'll use the user input service. Let's add the input detection to the script. In this section, we check if the player presses the spacebar. If they can double jump and haven't already double jumped, we trigger the double jump by changing the humanoid state to jumping again. Then, we adjust the jump power and apply the jump. If you want to customize the double jump height, you can adjust the double jump power variable at the top of the script. A higher value will make the double jump more powerful, while a lower value will reduce it. Now that we have set up our double jump mechanic, it is time to test it. So click the play button to start the game and once in the game, press the space bar twice and you should see your character perform a double jump. If you want to tweak how high the double jump goes, just change the double jump power value and test it again. And that's it. You've successfully added a double jump feature to your game in Roblox Studio. This mechanic can add a lot of depth and fun to your game, uh, so feel free to experiment with different jump powers and conditions. If you found this tutorial helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Roblox Studio tutorials, and I will see you guys in the next video.